In this guide to the browser view, we'll show you how you can find the perfect patch and quickly create unique variations of sounds with the sound mutator. The primary way to explore Absinthe 6's vast sonic library is with the Preset Explorer. The Absinthe Preset Explorer uses a powerful AI to analyse and intelligently organise thousands of presets into a visual, intuitive 2D timbral map. This lets you browse by feel, not just by name, and instantly find the perfect sound. The Preset Explorer can be moved around in a variety of ways. It can be dragged and zoomed with your mouse or touchpad or navigated with virtual buttons or your keyboard's arrow keys. There are a lot of sounds here, and if you wanted to focus on specific sonic characteristics, you can use the sliders panel. So for example, we could look for sounds that are short and dark. No, that's too dark. Let's go for something in the middle. You can reset all the filters using the reset icon here. There are other ways to filter sounds and these work in both the Preset Explorer and the more traditional table view. Switching to the table view gives us a more traditional list of presets and your user presets can be found here too. If you just want to hear the newest sounds, Check out the Banks panel where you can choose to show specific Absinthe sound banks. Perhaps you'd like to enjoy some classic Absinthe tones from the past. Let's select the Absinthe 4 bank and explore some vintage presets. We can also filter the preset list with the Type and Character panels. Let's select Synth Lead in the Type panel. We can also select one or more subcategories, for example, Huge Lead and Vox Lead. In the Character panel, we can select the character of the sound we want. Let's go for something tempo synced. These panels can be used solo or in conjunction, so for example, we can search for a panpipe sound with a monophonic character. If you'd like to favourite a preset, simply click the star icon and when you click the filter by favourites button, it'll appear in the list. To create variations on sounds quickly, we can use the sound mutator. To create variations or even completely new sounding presets based on an existing sound, click the Mutate button. You can mutate a patch as many times as you like, and all the different versions will get saved in your mutation history for easy access later on. If you don't like a particular mutation, you can click the Retry button to make a different one. The amount of intelligent and random mutation can be controlled with these horizontal faders. You can also lock specific modules over here to exclude them from randomization. The fine tune panel gives you macros that affect multiple parameters in real time, allowing you to fine tune the sound. You can save or delete your mutation history with the buttons below it. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out other Absinthe 6 videos in the playlist.